gentleman from california so he can well let's just get ourselves into a great discussion here the the great midwest ohio the industrial center of america being rebuilt by betty sutton a sudden thank you and thank you to my colleagues for being down here fighting the fight that the american people want us to fight and that's a fight for jobs the american people the people that i represent in ohio their number one priority by all means is about putting people back to work because as representative pearl mutter just stated so eloquently it really is about empowering people they don't want a lot from their government but they do want a government that will work with them and for them and enable, uh, to the extent possible, play that role that will help spur our economy, invest in infrastructure which puts people back to work, level the playing field for our manufacturers. I, you know, I come from a place where we have a very strong manufacturing base, and it hasn't always been treated fairly. We've had a lot of unfair trade deals that have been passed that have hurt the people that I represent, and we've had a lot of policies that, frankly, just didn't do them well, uh, and, and we, we can do better. But here we are 200 some days into this new Congress under Republican leadership and not a single jobs plan to come before this body. It is quite amazing to think about. Instead, what are they talking about? Imposing a budget that, that ends Medicare and protects the very tax breaks that end up shipping. Well, I am really proud to stand here with you tonight and to work on those policies that will put America back to work, that will strengthen not only our infrastructure, but our economy, which will keep our place in this world as leaders. And so uh, as we move forward, I hope that our colleagues on the other side of the aisle will get focused on what America needs, and that is jobs, jobs, and jobs. And we have a role to play. We can deal with the deficit. We should deal with the deficit. But the kinds of cuts that they're talking about, ending Medicare, taking this out of our seniors instead of cutting those tax breaks that have existed for those oil companies and others at the very top that have been a burden to our middle class because they're the ones who have to make up the difference. Let's focus on jobs. Let's encourage our colleagues in the GOP to get on board and start working on what America needs, and that is to put America back to work. And